Hello and welcome to this ideas to cycles video on additive manufacturing. In this video we will have a look at how to use AM parts in larger structures. The case study we are presenting is a bicycle frame which is welded using metal AM lugs. And the video could be of interest of not only frame builders but also people looking to make use of AM parts in larger steel structures that are being joined by welding. Using metal lugs for bicycle frames is nothing new. Ideas to Cycles presented a concept over a decade ago where the tubes of a bicycle frame were joined using metal AM lugs and the main benefits we saw at that time were customized aesthetics and customized ergonomics. And those are benefits for the end user, the rider. But in this video we will have a look at what the benefits could be for the fabricator making the frame using AM lugs. The traditional method of making a custom bicycle is to brace it using cast lugs. Uh, the cast lugs are mass produced and then bought by the frame builder and he uses them to join the tubes by brazing. Uh, nowadays directly welding the tubes together is quite common. We are presenting a new concept that combines the best of both worlds. So we are welding the frame but using lugs. And some of the features that we can accomplish with this are optimized material placement so we can do topology optimization, remove material where it's not needed, reinforce areas that are under high loads. Uh, we can integrate functions uh, like brazons, cable stops, zip tie holders, etc. We can have all of those made during manufacturing of the lugs. And also it makes the welding a lot easier. So we can now have straight cuts and just slide the tube over a sleeve and do an orbital weld around it. So it simplifies the welding process a lot. Having the welds further away from highly loaded areas increases the overall structural integrity of the frame. And by integrating functions into the lugs, we reduce the part count and we can save some time with the help of that. Uh, since time is money, it offsets also the high cost of AM parts slightly. What we mean by reduced number of process steps is shown here. So on the left, you have the traditional tube-to-tube -tube welding method. And on the right, you have welding using lugs, which is what we're proposing here. In the traditional welding method, you need to miter the tubes and fit them very snugly together to have a minimal air gap when welding. In our case, when we're using lugs, it's just a straight cut, slide it onto the sleeve and do an orbital weld. Super easy, you can weld thin material, there's an integrated root support. It just simplifies the welding process a lot. In a typical welding process, you would also tack weld the frame to keep it in place from the heat distortions, but since we are bringing the weld seam further away from the critical areas and we are using a simple symmetrical orbital weld, the heat distortions are more predictable and tack welding can be omitted completely. And like I mentioned earlier, since we're bringing the heat input further away from those critical mating surfaces, there's no need to ream, face or chase threads after welding. All of the tolerances uh, stay true even after welding. So over here are a couple of examples of how we've applied this concept in practice. So here are some hollow structures, some hollow fork ends. Uh, we can do very stiff and lightweight structures that way. We can do stiffened shells, so very thin walled structures with local stiffeners. With casting we are limited by having smooth shapes and constant wall thickness and even thicker wall thickness than is possible by additive manufacturing. We can do pilot holes during manufacturing, so afterwards all you need to do is just manually drill through and tap the thread. There's no need to fasten the workpiece in a drill press or milling machine to do the threading operations. You already have the guiding hole there. We can also do uh, parallel surfaces like you see here. So those are for fastening the workpiece in a vise when milling the bearing surfaces. So there's no need to have uh, dedicated workpiece holders or soft jaws 
for this job, we can have those integrated in the design. In this case, we had an overlap weld. Uh, we modeled a couple of slots in that part, which allows us to weld through that slot and make sure we get good fusion to the part underneath. And after welding, it's a flat surface, so it's just easy grind flush and there's no sign of the weld afterwards. This is an example of the cable stops. So in this case we had the rear brake cable run inside the top tube and exit from the middle in the rear. And obviously this had a integrated seat post. Wouldn't be possible with a normal adjustable seat post. I know a lot of people like replaceable hangers, especially in mountain bikes in, the, in case there's an accident. This is for a time trial bike and we got to keep in mind our goal of reducing part count. So in the name of that objective, we have integrated the derailleur hanger into the dropout. So here are a couple of bikes we made using this concept. Uh, in this case, we had steel tubes welded to stainless steel lugs. And this frame also, a steel frame this similar weld. This frame is actually binder jetted stainless steel powder which has been bronze infused and due to the bronze infusion we couldn't weld it but instead we TIG brazed it. Uh, so not, not a lot of concepts out there with bronze infused 3D printed parts that have been brazed onto a larger structure but this is an example of that. So in summary with AM lugs in welded structures, we get easier and faster assembly due to integrated functions and we get higher structural integrity, especially during cyclical loading, because we can optimize the weld design, move the welds away from the critically loaded areas. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.